Well, he went a bit crazy, didn't he, with this pandemic? And unfortunately, it drew all the very worst of Donald Trump out. And I got increasingly angry with him. And eventually, when he suggested we inject bleach into ourselves to cure coronavirus, I wrote a column for the Daily Mail in which I was, well, I was very to the point and wrote a headline with the column, Shut the bleep up, Mr. President. Your bat bleep crazy ideas will get people killed. And he unfollowed me overnight. And is that a badge of honour or is that something you rue wistfully? Uh, I think more the badge of honour, because not even honour, really. I just feel like his behaviour, his leadership in this pandemic has been utterly woeful and it's drawn out the very worst of Trump. You know, if you go back to January, my book is a diary of this extraordinary year. Back in January, I'd have said he was a shoe in for re-election. The economy was going well. Everything seemed relatively calm and stable. Uh, and, you know, most of the campaign pledges he'd made, he was, he was acting on. And I would have thought, yeah, he's going to get re-elected. Now I feel that it's the other way, that actually Americans and the world, frankly, are just exhausted by the Trump circus. And yet, as we had uh, very, very close to election day, uh, it's by no means a walkover for uh, either side necessarily. In fact, the more you hear one side saying Biden has it in the bag, the less likely it's probably going to be. Well, I think the problem they had last time, the Democrats, was they really did think they had it in the bag. And Hillary Clinton was planning all these parties to break the grass, glass ceiling. And I think that kind of entitled arrogance went down very badly with middle Americans in particular. And I think this time the Biden camp are being very, very cautious and making sure they get their votes out. But the polls are you know, alarmingly wide if you're Donald Trump. And even in the swing states, which are a little closer, Biden is significantly ahead of where Hillary Clinton was in most of them at the same stage last time. I, I just feel that leadership's about how you handle the really tough stuff. And on this pandemic, you can't run away from a record that shows the worst recession America's ever suffered. And more importantly, 220,000 deaths now, the worst death toll by any country anywhere in the world by a mile. And I think Americans, they're going to look at this and go, he's had a disastrous year. And even if you liked him, how do you defend that?